All right, good morning. It is day 13 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. It is Saturday morning. It's the weekend. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. It's the weekend. And we are continuing our 21 days. Uh, today's focus is on one of our values, and that is laugh out loud. We love to laugh at Arrowhead. We love to have fun. Uh, I'm sitting here in my house, and there's a bunch of people watching me, and we've been laughing, having a good time. We enjoy just laughing. And so uh, that is just part of uh, the Christian life, is to is to to be joyful at what God has given us and be able to see what God has given us and blessed us with and be joyful about it. And I know what you're thinking. Lee, it's been a hard year already. What do I have to be joyful about? I'm glad you asked. So grab First Peter and let's look at, at chapter one. Read the whole chapter, but the focus passage I want you to look at is I'm going to read just a few verses uh, and notice what Peter is saying that we need to rejoice in. So he says, Blessed be the God and Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, according to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's enough to be joyful right there. From uh, to A resurrection from Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, und unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are, be are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the tested genuineness of your faith, um, more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Listen to this. He says, though you have not seen him, him being Jesus, you love him. Though you do not uh, now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Listen, we have a reason to be joyful, to laugh for the very reason that Jesus has saved us, that he has resurrected us. He has given us new life. And so reread First Peter chapter 1 and just be joyful on this Saturday morning. So let me pray and um, we'll uh, just enjoy our Saturday. Lord, we love you. Thank you so much for salvation, for the joy that you give us in salvation, the peace that we have because you have saved us, because you have resurrected us Lord, we look forward to the day when we are joined together uh, in, in, uh, in heaven and we get to have just an unexplainable joy. But until then, God, we're so thankful for the promises that you give us here in First Peter. The things that we need to be joyful about is that you have given us life. And God, I pray that you would encourage us. Let this be an overflow of our heart so that we can go from this day, this devotion, this time, and go share that joy with someone else. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen.